This week on What in the World is Going On, we're continuing our discussion on the Saudis and the Temple Mount. So once again, friends, stay tuned. Last week, we looked at an article from the Jerusalem Post quoting former U.S. Ambassador to Israel, Martin Indyk, on this imaginary situation of how Israel and Saudi Arabia could normalize relations by giving the Saudis custodianship over the Temple Mount. And if you haven't seen last week's news update, friends, I'd just encourage you to go back and watch that, because what's amazing is that we are seeing this continued effort and vision of peace being made with Israel's Arab neighbors. And as Tim Munger from the Friends of Israel reported a couple days ago, August 31st, 2020, marked the first time an Israeli commercial airliner flew over Saudi airspace to land in the United Arab Emirates. Tim also reported Benjamin Netanyahu saying, quote, because today's breakthroughs will be tomorrow's norms, it will pave the way for other countries to normalize their ties with Israel. Why is this all so amazing? Because, friends, not, lo- not that long ago, the Gulf states were Israel's sworn enemies. But now we're beginning to see a softening towards Israel. And friends, that's exactly what God's word said would happen. When you look at Ezekiel chapter 38 and 9, the battle of Gog and Magog, this future invasion against Israel, which by the way, we're told is led by Russia and accompanied by Iran, Turkey, Sudan, Ethiopia, Libya. They're coming for the booty. They're coming for Israel's riches in this future invasion. But who are some of the protesters. It's Sheba and Dedan. That's Ezekiel 38 verse 13. That's Saudi Arabia today, along with the southern Gulf states. And until recently, they were Israel's enemies, and Turkey and Iran were Israel's friends. But now, friends, the script has flipped exactly as God has said. Furthermore, if down the road, the Temple Mount becomes an offer to entice the Saudis to normalize relations with Israel, then that too foreshadows things that are yet to come as recorded in the Bible. Because we know as students of God's word that one day soon a third Jewish temple will be built on top of the Temple Mount. How do we know that? Because Daniel, Jesus, Paul, and John all talked about it. And here we are today where the Jewish people have everything prepared to build this temple. The priests are being trained. All the temple uh, treasures, the artifacts, the vessels, they've all been rebuilt, ready for temple use. They have the blueprints. You can take a 3D tour of it on the Temple Institute's website. Check it out, friends. It's all there for you to see. And then here's this gold temple coin here, which you can purchase at the Temple Institute. It was uh, produced in 2017 with none other than the third temple on the back. Friends, we are living in exciting times. And whether this Saudi peace scenario involving the Temple Mount could one day lead to a uh, part of a, a peace treaty, which the coming Antichrist will confirm and enforce, allowing the Jewish people to rebuild the temple. I'm not sure. But the things that we're seeing happening in our world today are indeed setting the stage for Bible prophecy to be fulfilled, telling us that God's word is true and trustworthy. So until next time, friends, this has been What in the World is Going On, the Friends of Israel, Gospel Ministry.